you think Jesus is our ultimate authority on matters of diet? Okay, hang on now. This question brings it, uh, its own problems. And the reason why is because in the beginning, the answer to that has to be no. Our ultimate authority is God, which I agree is Yeshua, okay? But he gave his word. So the ultimate authority is the Torah itself. What validates Yeshua as the Messiah, what validates him as authority at all, is the Torah itself, is the Tanakh. So the only reason that Yeshua has, a, has we know that Yeshua has the authority of anything, is because the Tanakh tells us so. So he can't go against that. He can't, I would say that Yeshua uh, is the ultimate, um, he's the one who uh, shows us how to keep Torah. Right? But I, but to say he's the ultimate authority on, on, on what you can eat, no, the Torah is. And Yeshua shows us how to do that. Yeshua can't come along and say the Torah is wrong. If he does, then he's not the Messiah. Then we're looking for somebody else. Well, I think this, whoever this radio host guy uh, is, it seems to me he's coming from a framework that God gave the Torah to Israel. It didn't work. It didn't stick. So he's going to do a new thing now. In other words, that plan A did, plan A failed. So now I'm going to do plan B, and part of plan B is doing away with plan A. Like, like forget about plan A, because I'm going to institute plan B. Okay, yeah, I, I understand that, but the point. And so he's pitting, like, oh yeah, well the you know the Old Testament said that, but Yeshua came, Jesus came, and gave a new Torah. I can guarantee that this guy believes that Yeshua is is divine. Okay, that he is deity. If that's the case, what he's doing is he's pitting God against God. Yeah, yeah, it's it's that doesn't work. You can't do that. The Torah is the measuring stick. You have to you have to put you have to put everything up to the measuring stick. If it doesn't add up to the measuring stick, then it's false. 